Are you ready for the battle to end all battles? For the fight of all fights? For the cream of all creams? For the punch of all Judies? Hey, we haven't spoken about our reward yet. For glory and honor! Can he say glory or slotty? We'll have to chance it. The ring in his hand, he remembered the brave comrades who had fallen in battle. Ugly hat guy, the other guy, and... Did I forget anyone? No, okay. Well, isn't that just typical? While I'm doing all the work, you're having the time of your life on the roller coaster. I would quite like to give you a hand. Unfortunately, I currently require urgent use of both of my hands in order to hang onto this safety belt for dear life. <sighs> I'm not saying I'm disappointed in you. I'm just saying that everyone has to set their own priorities. You have to let go. I can't. Yes, you can. There's only water below you. I still can't. All right. I'll think of something. Uh, I wish that was an option. Wait a minute. It is an option, but that doesn't make any sense. Uh, that's pretty silly. Ah, what the heck. For love! Get a star from the heavens. Check. Don't move! Wait! What are you gonna do? Don't move also applies to your drool dispenser. I protest! Ow, oh, don't be such a baby. It's like tearing off a band-aid. Just with a hammer and chisel, that's all. No! If Whoa! you miss the water, don't forget! To roll... Oh, ooh. Why don't people ever listen all the way through to the end of the sentence? Monsieur has finally decided to show up. Well, who would have thought it, after you almost managed to kill me? Ah, there was never the slightest danger. You were hanging over the river. Directly above the site where beavers had constructed a dam out of rusty nails. That still counts as river. I think I need a doctor. Well, life isn't the bargain bin. For example, I needed a reliable assistant. And now look in the mirror. I'll wait for the right moment for that. We both have so much going on, and the year is almost over. Oh, Rufus, wherever did you get this precious trinket? I picked it up on Elysium. <laughs> you charmer. So, 
What's your plan? Porta Rustica is only a few hours upriver. If we can prevent your departure, nobody can turn back time in Kuvak this evening. Could get very tight. I'll already be departing from there at dawn. Now that's taken care of. I've arranged for a boat. All we need is a romantic photo of Gold and me. And where is she? And what is that there? The cast is up to the director, okay? You operate the camera. Right? Ready yet? Okay, let's do this. Just press the shutter button. Camera ready. Cheese! Right? Ready yet? Just a minute. Come on, let's take the picture. Where's Spunky Goal, huh? You know, feisty smile, dynamic, thirsty for action. Fought the organ on with me. To my ears, it sounds like you're talking about a complete stranger. <sighs> I'm starting to get the same feeling. Right? Ready yet? Okay, let's do this. Let's take one more. Camera ready. Cheese. Hey boys, good news. I've managed to persuade Pimpy. Goal, this uh, might look strange, but uh... Is that supposed to be me? What sort of perverted games are you playing here? I, I only uh, push the button. <laughs> it's it's part of my plan to... Uh, I, I don't want to know. Just, the boat is ready. Hurry up. Women, eh? Just shut up, Big Mac. Is just like the sea, baby, just as deep and as wide, I agree. There are sharks, creek, and venomous eels, and terrors completely unknown. Lurking Honey. Come on, don't dawdle. Don't you get it? We're too late. Look, the sun has almost set. My other me left here hours ago. Oh yeah? And then why am I in such a hurry? Because you are a complete idiot. How long do we have until the time reset? Let's see. The sun has just set on Elysium. Root of Deponia's radius plus the height of Elysium's orbit, I estimate about two hours after sundown. Damn, I almost wish we were back in the time machine. Hmm. Well, actually my lab has everything I would need in order to... Junior? You've got some nerve! Into my office immediately! Step on it! Quiet at the kitty table. The adults are talking. Psst. Rufus! 
That's the Dean. The Dean is a dwarf? My name is Dean Angus McChronicle Senior. Senior? Ha! <laughs> Vice Senior is probably more like it, if that. McChronicle would certainly have told me if he had a son. But I don't. May I introduce to you <laughs> my father? Yes, of course. And I'm the new guest lecturer. Then why are you still standing around? What are you waiting for? To the lecture hall! No, 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 not so quick. I think there's something we need to discuss in peace and quiet. Hello, class. Hello! So, do you have any questions? I certainly do. Uh, what molar mass does a chronoparticle have? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, anyone else? Uh, how do 4D glasses work? Okay, 4D, certainly. Uh, 3D and 2D have certainly become household names. How can deterministic and non-deterministic theories of time be made compatible? Not with a hasty reply, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, where is McChronicle? Yeah, McChronicle. Mamoo, mamoo. Boo! McChronipants isn't here, and I have to go as well. Occupy yourselves for the meantime. All these theoretical questions won't help you in the real world anyway. Haldica wasn't discovered from a desk, either. Even your beloved McChronicle knew that, and worked on a real time machine. You wouldn't happen to know where I can find it. Is this it? Oh, that is just a tachyon compressor. It creates an anomaly that simulates interim time. So, it's a simulator. Where can I find the actual device? If McChronicle was working on something, then it would definitely be in his shed. But no one is allowed in there. The Dean locked it and pocketed the key. And that brings us to today's first lesson. The lock has never been built, whose secrets Professor Rufus couldn't uncover. Write that down. It might be on the exam. Come on, get in there, you. Ah! <laughs> oh, quit your whining. Your old cage didn't smell any better. Cole, what are you doing? What's it look like? I'm interrupting your lecture. But you, you can't do that. Oh, really? What are you going to do about it, then? Have me fail the exam? I'm trying to restore time here. The time when it's alleged that I've fallen in love with you. No thanks. Can you at least take your feet off the table and take your hat off? You're undermining my authority as a teacher. What's with the silly get-up anyway? Take a guess. I've made myself my own tinfoil hat, so that I will always remember what a complete and total idiot you are. So, pay close attention. Moment, mom, mommy. I think I missed it. Uh, will that be in the exam? Boo! Take it easy now. Nothing can happen until I uh, press here, right? Aha! Uh -huh. And what is that? <gasps> That's a temporal anomaly. A new layer in space-time that possesses all the known characteristics of interim time. I see. Like a balloon. Slowly being filled. No. Not like a balloon in any way at all. Why not? I like balloons. And what is that? <gasps> That's a temple. Oh, no. <laughs> Remember, observe the anomaly, take notes, and give me a good evaluation at ratemyprof.org. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Ugh, stubborn as a stop sign. Seems I don't have the right bait for my platypus trap.
Hey, stay away from our junk ball training bag. Training bag? That looks to me more like a Drexican pinata. Typical sighted person. It's not always about how things look. But rather that it rains candy? No, but that doesn't hurt, right? The plant smells like Lonzo's back room whenever that thrash metal band comes to visit. Ooh. Locked. <sighs> Anything else would have been a disappointment, to be honest. Photos of baby wombats. Deponia 4 walkthrough for sale. Hey, that looks interesting. Do you want to share my lunch with me? <laughs> Love to. I'm hungry. Now all I have to do is find this romantic ninja. here you should be lecturing I just wanted to stretch my legs then stretch them back to the lecture hall and don't come back until the bell is rung go on then hop to it Does one of you by any chance go by the name of Romantic Ninja? Uh, Mr. Rufus, please don't. You're Romantic Ninja? <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> Did you know that he's a Romantic Ninja? That according to this note, he bears the black belt in the arts of love. <laughs> I wish the ground would just swallow me up. No, we didn't know that. Moo moo. That must be because he merges with the shadows of loneliness. Or so it is written by him. Luckily, I found this note, because if you are threatened on the battlefield of love, which apparently applies to me. Threatened? My katana has ripped your heart to shreds. He offers the following. Do you want to share my lunch with me? Here, you can have it. I've lost my appetite. Thank you, Romantic Ninja. Your courage and generosity will not be forgotten. Platypuses only eat stale bread. They spit out anything fresh. And then they complain that everything was better back in the day and write embittered online reviews. What would happen if I were to hold this lunch in there? Me, me, me! Uh, time passes much quicker in the anomaly than outside. So, the sandwich will get old. Well, anyone could have foreseen that. Now it's only good for duck food, and I have to cut my fingernails again. Good bait catches fine fish, unless you're into worms, in which case you can cut out the middleman. Good bait catches fine fish, unless you're into worms, in which case you can cut out the middleman.
Let's see if this can motivate him. Yikes! What's going on? Me, me, me! Stereo Monocle? My name's Norbert, Professor. Nerdbert? I can remember that. And your answer is? The inflow of energy caused the expansion of the anomaly to increase. You're now inside simulated interim time. And then all of a sudden, time just flies by. Momo, 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 momo. She said only inside the bubble. Correct answer, but points off for interrupting, underbite Valkyrie. Her name is Hildebrain. <laughs> Her parents were jokers, were they? No, Scraplanders. She's an exchange student. And I'm Daniel Glandular. And am I supposed to remember that now, or what? Yippee! School's out! Uh, don't you want to turn the anomaly off first? Lesson two, never want to do something that somebody else can do. <sighs> Shame. Oh, just when it was getting exciting. Boo! Everything comes to an end. Get used to it. <laughs>